Hey guys, it's your Dave HD here, and today I'm on another play of view featuring international Milan match in the Esther. It's been just released today, and he's a CM, he's a 91 CM, and it's the team I built around him to test him out. So let's get into some of his stats. Um, Iniesta goes around 600k now, uh, he's 5 foot 7 with high medium work rate, he's right footed with 4 star weak fun 4 star skill moves into his stats, he's got 77 pace, 95 dribbling which is incredible, 76 shot, 68 defence, 95 passing which is again incredible and 59 heading which is a bit disappointing. As you can see from them stats, his dribbling and passing is outstanding and the rest are pretty much average. But let's get into his in game stats and see how they are. Here are Iniesta's in-game stats, he's got 99 ball control, 90 crossing, 90 curve, 97 dribbling, 82 finishing, 73 free kick accuracy, 59 heading accuracy, 95 long pass, 85 long shots, 62 marking, 73 penalties, 99 short pass, 73 shot power, 56 slide tackle, 62 stand tackle and 83 volleys. To his mental attributes, he's got 63 aggression. 74 interceptions, 89 attack positioning, and 83 vision. To his physical attributes, he's got 79 acceleration, 88 agility, 91 balance, 59 jumping, 98 reactions, 78 spin speed, 99 stamina, and 64 strength. So obviously I played some games with him to try him out for the review. And the main thing I did notice about Iniesta was his dribbling. His dribbling was phenomenal. It was the best point about him, as well as his passing. But his dribbling just made him the CM that he is, a 91 rated. But his passing always goes to the man, always on target. Through balls are incredible, always goes perfectly in front of him for a great touch. He is just amazing. I couldn't ask for a better CM, maybe his team of the year version, but except for that. And surprisingly, his shooting, as you see there, was incredible. He says he's got like 78 shooting, which just isn't believable because. As you can see there, he pushes around the keeper, and his pace there, you can see, the pace isn't as bad as it looks in the actual game. I think he's got more pace than it says in the game, which is always a plus, because it says he's got slow pace, but even though he's a CM, he does it. it's not very important to have pace, it's just nice to have it. Anyway, I'm going to talk about some disadvantages he has. Um, his free kick stats are the worst. I can't believe how bad he is. I mean, the only good thing about his free kicks is his curve. So if you're going to go for a curve around the wall, that's his only plus point. If not, Iniesta is not the free kick taker for you. His finesse shot, as you see there, was amazing. Well, it wasn't amazing, but it was quite good. It did go into top corner. Some of the disadvantages are his headers. But let's be honest, he's a corner taker, not a corner scorer. So that's not a big point at all. Anyway, as always, I've done some pros and cons. Of Iniesta. Anyway, for his advantages, he's got good curve, passing, full star weak foot force or skill move, dribbling, finesse shot, shooting, and team player, which means makes the runs up the front and back. That's a great point about him as well. The disadvantages are free kick stats, heading, sure, defensive wise, he's not good, and he is expensive. But still, even with them disadvantages, I'd give him a 9 out of 10, because he was one of the best players I've ever used. Well, the best player is international man of the match anyway. Except for Suarez, he's probably on joint. If you haven't seen that international man of the match Suarez review, go check that out. Anyway, I would 100% uh, recommend having him if you've got 700k lying around, which is another bad thing about him. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment for more play reviews. I'll see you next time.